So of recent, many weapons across the board have been buffed. I've tried and tested a few which are surprisingly amazing. Today we check out one of those surprises, the Sickle AR. How's it going guys, my name's DPJ and today I'll be going to have a BR3 video. If you do enjoy it, leaving a like really helps me out and subscribe if you want to see more. So I clearly remember testing this weapon ages back and thinking it was just too weak to even consider using, considering it's basically a shotgun. And shotguns as we know for the most part are pretty damn good. And really ain't in small demand considering the amount of shotguns that are in the game. The question is why would you even consider a weak AR acting like a shotgun? In one of the recent hotfixes the sickle received a damage buff. So its damage went from a 1.5 to a 2.5 and the underbarrel fire rate went from a 1.5 to a 3.5. Now like I said the sickle for me was a pointless weapon. It wasn't useful as a shotgun as it was just too weak and well its AR credentials were out the window already. So a buff was indeed needed. Now I have tested a couple of weapons and although I welcome these gearbox buffs some weapons considering still feel a little weak even with buffs applied. The sickle though surprised me, seriously surprised me. This AR shotgun has now become a serious serious weapon. A weapon in fact I do believe until this point many people are overlooking because of what it actually is. I can tell you this weapon is top tier. It's one of a certain few weapons now which holds its own in the Malawan takedown and the slaughter shaft without having the backup of a crazy build. Not many weapons can do this, the redistributor, the lob, the maggie, the craps maybe, the cutsman and a couple of others. But this now is up there guys. As you can see in the background footage now this really makes easy work of the slaughter shaft. So I recommend guys if you have this weapon stored away in your bank definitely get it out and give it a try. It's truly an incredible weapon now, one which I do feel you will enjoy. Now if you don't have the sequel AR the place you can get this from is the Warden who is located in the Anvil on Eden 6, an easy bus to farm also. Now the variants I have come across are slightly different, but in good ways. This one variant I have shoots at a fire rate of 4.46 shots per second and has a damage output of 911 times 10 The other variant I have has a fire rate of 1.73 shots per second, but has a damage output of 1822 times 10 so we have one which fires slower but deals way more damage and then we have one that fires much quicker but deals half the damage. And these are the two variants I have come across but both are amazing. I do actually prefer the faster fire rate variant though as it seems to do slightly more damage per second. Now there may be other variants out there which I haven't seen but even if there's just these two they both offer amazing things. So yeah guys the sequel is now a great great weapon one I truly recommend you try out at least. I'm pretty sure it will surprise you. But yes, on that note, we have come to the end of the video. If this is a weapon you've recently used, tell me what you think about it down below in that comments section. If there's any other weapons you've tested after the latest hotfixes applied buffs to them and you think they are good and deserve a video covering them, let me know what they are too. But on that note, we have come to the end of the video, people. If you did enjoy it, leaving a like it really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more Borderlands, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video I upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next one.